Last year was a very challenging year. COVID-19 brought out the best of SNEC. I'd like to thank the allied health professionals, including our entire teams of optometrists, orthoptists, pharmacists, our imaging and our investigation units, and our medical social workers. The entire team, they have stepped up to the plate. They have shown the ability to be very resilient in the face of challenges. They've been adaptable. Uh, there were many new innovations and new models of care that was trialled and piloted and actually executed by this team. COVID-19 has brought the entire SNEC team together and therefore we've worked better as a team so it's not just doctors or nurses but the entire team that includes the critical component of allied health professionals. Going forward in 2021, I would like to again encourage all of us and all of you to come together to work as a team. The future of healthcare and of eye care in particular is a team-based approach. No one should be working in isolation. We are all part of the care pathway. All patients are important to us and our aim and our goal should always be the same, to provide the best possible care and to prevent vision loss and to treat eye diseases for the Singapore community at large. Allied Health plays a critical role and increasingly more so in this new normal post-COVID-19. I would like to encourage everyone to come up with new ways of doing things, innovate, embrace some of the digital parts of our care pathway. I think it will be better outcomes for everyone and our patients. Leadership positions in our allied healthcare teams have changed to be self-led and self-managed. With this, we think it's going to be very important and we do strongly encourage all team members to embrace this positive change and look forward to contributing to their own teams as they become more senior. And most importantly, it's a great sense of humour. Humour will help us you know, see things in a more positive light, allow us to embrace things that we need to do in a more positive way. And I hope all of us, even in the darkest of times, find that little spark. Give up someone a smile. As you know, the last year has been very challenging due to the COVID pandemic. For the next year, we hope everyone works hard, perseveres, and be prepared to be flexible, especially when we have, uh, maybe when we have certain changes in our workflow due to the COVID pandemic resurfacing or getting worse in Singapore. The SNEC leadership is committed to improve the quality of care in SNEC by upskilling our, all our allied health professionals, by providing the necessary training um, in our various optomic assistant and optomic technician training programs. As allied health professionals, you are the backbone of our care. 2020 has not been easy, but we pulled through, thanks to all of you. So let's stay focused on the true north, stay tight as a team. Together, we will chart new paths. A big thank you to all our Ally Health staff for your dedication and your hard work during the pandemic year. Let me say thank you again to all our unsung heroes. I'll keep this short. Three phrases that I think everyone should expect from management. Collaborative environment, communication, clarity of roles. In 2020, we saw a very unique situation whereby all the uh, domains, healthcare domains, allied health, nursing, and every service point came together to do one mission without role divide. So this is a key emphasis that SNEC will take on moving forward to put all the domains and bringing the collaboration closer among all the allied health services with the rest of the domains. An allied health professional should have a keen and curious mind. A very strong sense of curiosity is crucial so that they can you know, check on what they're doing and a sense of analysis. Number one, they're patient. Uh, secondly, they are also professional. Uh, they have deep expertise in their area. They are empathetic as well and they are indispensable to our healthcare team. Attention to detail and being very particular to the uh, task at hand. In order to ensure continuity of care for our patients, we have to comb through thousands of patients in order to ensure that glaucoma patients receive their medications via home delivery and patients who needed extra attention were directed to their correct clinics. There was 
team segregation. So we were, we were asked to stay in specific hospitals. And this had a significant impact in several ways. One was in terms of teaching and education for our junior doctors and as well as for the junior optometrists. We had to stop doing corneal retrieval because of the worry about transmission of COVID. People had to work from home and that had an impact on the overall morale. Uh, there was a sense of isolation, fear of the unknown and a lot of uncertainties. There were a lot of challenges from disruption of service to having to figure out how to work from home, to divide ourselves into teams, as well as to provide ongoing support for the rest of the COVID efforts. We did change a lot of models of care within SNEC and the team really stepped up to some of these new roles and challenges uh, that they were faced with. Um, they've done very, very well and I'm very proud of them. One of the key challenges for the pharmacy department in 2020 was uh, the, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on how we have to change the way that we dispense medications in order to achieve adequate social distancing. Uh, we needed to rapidly uh, switch to uh, perform uh, medication uh, delivery services and all this is, even with the shortage of manpower, we had to make all this uh, happen because some of our staff also volunteered in the dormitory effort as well. Many patients that are disabled, they're on wheelchairs, they can't walk, and transferring is very difficult. And many of my imaging team members, they really take the care to make sure the patients transfer safely uh, and wheel them in and out of the rooms. Um, for the low vision team, they really get into the details of the patient's life, uh, helping them with finding jobs, helping them financially. One of my patients who came into the primary eye care department for a routine eye check, and she was noted by the optometrist to look uh, pale as well as ill. Uh, despite being only trained in uh, eye care, the optometrist was sharp enough to understand that the patient needed further medical attention and ensure that the patient went to the accident and emergency department immediately. This has uh, exemplified the uh, commitment to patient care beyond uh, what they have been trained to do. A lot of the AHP from both Changi Hospital as well as from the eye bank uh, stepped forward uh, with no reluctance at all to come and help in whatever possible way they could. And I think that was a very great initiative on their part to take on the challenge of going and helping out in the dormitories in difficult circumstances. So kudos to them and the team for putting in that effort. Our allied healthcare professionals are true team players and pillars of SNEC patient care. From the bottom of my heart, and I'm sure our leadership shares the same view, it is with a huge thank you that I want to say thank you so much for all your contributions, all your support to SNEC in all its endeavours, in all the past years and in all the years to come. Without you, we can never be where we are today. So thank you very much. For the always can-do spirit. Your work is very, very important and we thank you for it. I would like to thank all the staff in our pharmacy for persevering and putting in such a great effort in the year 2020 and moving on to the year 2021. With that, I would like to wish everyone a very happy Allied Health Day. Happy Allied Health Day. Happy Allied Health Day. Happy Allied Health Day, everyone. Happy Allied Health Day. 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 Happy Allied Health Day! Happy Allied Health Day! Happy Allied Health Day.